Well, if my Brian Beeler's rounding them up, it's going to be February 18th. 10K and under for sale, 1968-1974 Chevrolet Novas. This search quest comes from multiple subscribers to our channel. And like these subscribers, if there's a classic car you're looking for, it's free and easy to do. You just subscribe below and drop in the comments below. We make a model you're looking for. We'll round them up for you. So this is not the only car for sale if you're new to the channel. This is going to be the one I would go pick up if I was looking to buy 68-74 Nova. So let's get on to the search. It's going to be Facebook, Marketplace, and Craigslist. I do not own any of the cars. I don't make up the prices, but I have put them in price order from lowest to highest. And you can see it kicks off at $2,600 for this, which is absolutely absurd. Uh, maybe I should read it out, right? Selling 70 Nova Project, two-door, V8 car, had a vinyl top, tall bolt rear end that needs freed up. So we rear end seized. It has no title sold as is. You got to be out of your mind to buy that. I don't even see $1,000 in parts. There's not even $1,000 in parts. These floors don't impress me. There's rust all over it. They've been painted before, black. So who knows how rusty the floors were. Uh, that's a horrible deal. That's my opinion. If it's your area in Wisconsin, it's only been here for a week, $2,600. Man, go offer him $350. And that's being nice to him. Uh, you can't even scrap it for that. It'll be a 71 Nova, two-door here, three grand Craigslist, California area, been on here for 11 days. Got some nice Oldsmobile wheels on it. It's a 71 Chevy Nova, needs work, excellent project. Needs windshield, interior work, also needs wiring and the body straight. That's all it says for details. Can't get over there fast enough to check that one out. 11 days ago, California area, and he's saying he's got a clean title. That should have been a pick of the day, horrible photos. Can't even show you the car. But that could be a great buy. So we're still going to be on Craigslist. 1974 Chevy Nova. 3200 bucks five days ago. It's not a hatchback, but it is a two-door. Straight body and primer. Minimal rust for it's not a rust bucket. It says clean title. It's about a 396 to 400 transmission for five grand. Price is firm. Some of the engine isn't where the car is. They're not in the same spot. The engine 396 and the car are not located in the same place. But then it goes on to say it's in Georgia. It has no title. comes with a bill of sale. Got a Corvette hood scoop on it for that big 396 they got for it. 1973 Nova. 3500 bucks. 15 days ago. This car looks a lot better. Might be the best one we've seen so far. Six cylinder. Not a hatchback. 73 Nova straight. Six. Automatic needs some love. Sure does. It's got a lean on the title, what it says. I don't know how they could have a lean on that, but that's what it says. Oregon, got a set of rims coming in the front. Those might be some nice trailer wheels. Gonna be a 73 Chevrolet Nova here, 3,500 bucks. Three days ago, we're in Arizona this time. You want a murder Nova? Just buy yourself a couple rattle cans and make your stuff a rattle Nova. This is a hatchback. Even though it's been all rattle canned, big bumpers. Has motor two door hatchback project. Title says clean. Three days ago, thirty five hundred bucks. Looking for a hatchback. Need a lot of stripper. Can't stand when they paint rattle can everything. On to another one. I'd rather have it look like this than rattle canned all one color. That's me. Nineteen seventy two Chevy Nova. Thirty five hundred bucks five hours ago. This is also gonna be in Arizona. Got a V8 in it. No back bumper, no grill. Instruments were tore out of it. That's an extra instrument panel. Looks like the instrument panel is in it. Again, 68's the only year with the key in the dash. I'm not even sure if we found any 68's on this search. It does say manual transmission, clean title, so it was a three speed manual. Cool car, 3,500 bucks. Got a clean title is what it says anyway. 1974 Chevrolet Nova. Going to be Arizona this time. 3500 bucks 12 weeks ago. 12 weeks he's had this one on here. It's a roller project. He's got a 5.3. 4180 trans to go with it. So he's got an LS set up for it for extra money. Maybe. I didn't read it all out. Doesn't see nothing about a title there. There's your LS engine. It's all ripped apart, man. There ain't no way. You're not getting this. It's going to cost somebody five grand to move it. 
it's more likely sitting like this right now. So good luck purchasing that one. If you're looking for the toughest project, I, I, go give him six grand. If you're buying that, be nice. Don't be mean. Give him six grand as you spend all day loading all that stuff up. On to another one. 1971 Chevrolet Nova. 3500 bucks. Let's say a week ago, Arkansas. This car looks great. It's a 71 with white interior. With the bench seat. Still got some floor pans in it. V8. Auto. Missing front hubs. I got a set. So we just switched my dad's car over. And last time we showed my dad's 68 Nova on this channel, I actually swapped that car over from, from drums to discs, power brakes. So I do have all the drums you need to put this back together. Spindles and all. Hit me up if you buy it. It's in Arkansas. We had 1974 Chevrolet Nova, 3500 bucks, 18 weeks ago, Georgia. Two-door, solid car, not all chopped up. Has 350 motor, 350 trans. Bill sale, 3500 firm. And it's been here for 18 weeks. Missing one of those aluminum slots. But nice set of wheels. Break out the buffer. Gonna need a carburetor. Dash pad's all chopped up. Georgia car. Looks like they pulled it right out of some swampy stuff. But they've still got algae growing on it. Got one of those power washer channels where you pressure wash stuff. This would be a cool one to pressure wash all the algae off of. It's got a lot of photos. I dig it. 18 weeks. He hasn't been able to sell for that 3500 firm though. 1972 Chevrolet Nova Base. 3500 bucks. This is three weeks ago, Illinois. Got a lot of photos. It's a 72. It's in the garage. I dig that. I don't know about the painted up IROC wheels on it. Cool SS hood, right? It has a clean title. So I like the sounds of that. We'll possibly work on trade with complete 400 big block Chevy. So you might trade you for an engine. That's your area. It's been here three weeks. Illinois, 72. 1971 Chevrolet Nova. 3750 listed a week ago, California. And it don't look that bad for the three photos we get of it sitting outside. It does say clean title 71 Nova with the VIN. Has been through a lean sale process. So there you go. Want one you still got to do paperwork on to get a title for? Well, the paperwork's been started. Only three photos. You have to go check it out in person. Take somebody with you. Never bought a classic car before. It'll be a 1974 Chevy Nova Hatch, four grand, 23 days ago. Has not updated the ad. It'll be on here for another week. Looking for a hatchback? I don't think you can get there fast enough. Looks like it's all complete, right down to the six cylinder. Absolutely love it. The blue rims, the hubcaps, the original interior. Colorado, 23 days it's been on here for sale. For four grand. It'll be a 1969 Chevrolet Classic, 350. That's how he's got it listed out. 4500 bucks 15 weeks ago. And this is Oklahoma. Got the grill all pulled out. The floor pans look good. Trunk's a little soft. No front bumper on it. Had an engine in it. Somewhat together. Seeing pictures of pictures of parts. Clean title. No trades. Have a 69 Nota for sale. It's a project. Bought it last year. Needs floor pan replaced. Last year trunk pan needs replacement have all the paperwork previous owner comes with a clean Oklahoma title and again that's all I usually look for in an ad but the drag car to one thing trying to put her on a street in a state that I live in like I live in you're gonna need paperwork to say it's yours gonna be a 1972 Chevrolet Nova 4800 bucks we're at listed six weeks ago California it's a four-door got a 750 CFM on it I bet it probably runs pretty good. Most likely need towed because the rear tires are burnt off. I bet they are. Got the valve cover pulled too. So I don't know if they hurt the engine or just tighten those rockers back down from breaking in a new cam. It'll be a 1973 Nova. 5500 bucks back to Marketplace, Indiana. Six days ago, 73 Nova. Runs and drives, new tires, does need restoration. But can drive. How it is. We'll negotiate. No trades. Picture really is like 30 feet away. So a 30 footer, it looks great. I mean, who the hell stands that far away to take a picture? 
unless you know what your car looks like up close. Hey, I don't know. It's got a couple other photos on here. Still got the seats in it. It's looked like Camaro bucket seats. Gonna be two Chevy Nova, six grand. You heard it, two Chevy Novas for six grand. Seventy-four. I don't know. They're hatchbacks. Both of them are hatchbacks. Can't get there fast enough. Two Novas for sale. Currently, not interested in splitting them up. Must go together. First one is 74 standard trunk. Second one's light blue and it's a hatchback. So you're getting one of each. Both cars, six grand. Can't get there fast enough. Oh yeah, it's in Washington State. So they're solid too. That's why I made the comment a couple episodes back. I don't know if it was El Camino's or Rancheros that I surely wouldn't be coming to Ohio when I got so much nice stuff around me in Washington and Oregon. That's where you live. Back to Facebook Marketplace, 1972 Chevrolet Nova, six grand, listed two weeks ago, Texas. It's been marked down from seven grand. Thinking of selling, too many projects, no motor, no transmission, body's in great shape. Was going to do an LS swap. Don't see nothing about a title. Again, it was Texas. Price, six grand. He's got the front doghouse for it or not. Front clip. You have to hit him up. Message him up. That's all you got to do is get on to Texas area, punch a 1972 Chevrolet Nova. You'll find it. As of the 18th, it was currently listed for sale. 1970 Nova Project, Wisconsin this time. Craigslist, 6500 bucks eight days ago. This car don't look bad. Got a big cow hood. I don't like the aftermarket gauges, but that's me. If you dig it, you dig it. If you don't, you don't. $6,500, y'all. New 4-inch cow hood. 327 with dual quad setup. Did I just skim right over noticing it was dual quads? Because, yes, it is dual quads. Muncie 4-speed manual. I'm loving the sounds of a lot of that. 6500 eight days ago. Check this one out. Looking to build a badass 70? That's worth checking that one out. Probably first car out of all the ones we've looked at. And we're up to 6500 bucks. So, on to another 1970 Nova, 6500, 28 days ago on this one. Can't get there fast enough to look at the last one. That's what I'd tell you about that, other than it's Arizona, posted 28 days ago, and it'll be on here for two more days. Gonna be a 1973 Chevy Nova 350 Eng, 350 Auto Trans, $6,900. Gonna be Ohio, posted two days ago. Looking for one in Ohio. It's not a hatchback. It's a very nice 73 Nova Clear Ohio title, ready to go. It's got a 350 out of a 94 truck in it, but he's also got a 427 engine that may need rebuilt for another 500 bucks. So take him $7,400, get a big block 427 with it. That's what it sounded like. Somebody painted up the floors, the trunk. I don't know if that's POR or not. Under the side of the hood's all been painted up. They didn't get up into these hard sections to get, but they got the easy stuff. It looks pretty good. I don't think it's worth that. But that's me. Gonna be Orlando, Florida, 1970 Chevy Nova, 7,500 bucks. Nine days ago on this one. Got the LS all set up in here. Fuel cell in the trunk. It's like the exhaust is going backwards. Got turbos on here too, maybe. LS with turbo, 12 bolt. That's what you're looking for. We found something. You want to go fast? This is probably the fastest one we've seen. If it runs. It's Florida. It's $7,500 nine days ago. Looking for something with an LS Turbo already in it. 70 boom. 1969 Chevrolet Other. That's how he's got it posted for $7,500 three weeks ago. Indiana. Got a nice set of chrome trailer wheels on it. Still got floor pans in it. Ripped all the seats out. Somebody bulletproofed up the rear end. At least that's what it looks like. So that was a sway bar going across there. I don't know. Got some description in here. 12 volt rear end. 7,500 bucks, y'all. Super Sport Factory. That's what he says. Disc brakes. Front sway bar. 350 motor running. Great project. Lots of the parts included. 7,500 best offer. Yeah, it's true SS. Can't get there fast enough to check it out. It's got a rusty trunk of floors, but it still had trunk of floors in it. $7,500. It'll be California, 1973 Chevy Nova. We're up to 
posted two weeks ago. Got some nice chrome rallies on it. That's what they look like. Looks like a manual. Probably best car we've seen so far. It's 73. Looking to sell 73 with good body. Paint is not greatest, as you can see. <laughs> what do you mean, man? I thought the patina looked great. Has a rebuilt 350 motor with 500 miles on a rebuilt 700R transmission. Great car. Tags just expired last week. Not interested in any trades. Sorry. Clean title. For clean 73. California. Yep. Yeah, it says automatic. So I don't think it's a manual. It don't look like a manual shifter in there. It must be one of those quick silver balls sticking up over the seat. 1972 Chevrolet Nova back to Craigslist. It's going to be Richmond, Virginia area. 8500 bucks 12 days ago. This car don't look bad. It was the original olive green. I like color. Green on green. Still got a V8 in it. So it's got a clean title. 72 Chevy Nova. One owner. 307. It's going to be a 1973 Chevrolet Nova. 35,000 original miles sedan 8,500 bucks three weeks ago Illinois this orange four-door looks absolutely mint Leave it out spinning the wheels with it you can see all the mud they flew up on the quarter panels original interior audio's all screwed up they got a nice walk around you looking for a four-door I love the color it's absolutely awesome color I don't know about them extra doors 8,500 I don't know. I really can't say that's too expensive. The car looks mint. So you're looking for something mint. Well, there you go. There's one that's mint. They do have a video, but it's sped up audio. So it sounds like the chipmunks that you can't understand nothing. So if you want to go check them out, it's Illinois, seven weeks ago, Punch in 73 Chevrolet Nova. You'll find it. It's clean. It's a nice looking car. 8500 bucks. I think it's a little high, but that's me. It's going to be California here, Craigslist, 1970, Chevrolet Nova, 89.50, 22 days ago. Got the SS louvers on the hood, got some cool aluminum slots on it. Didn't really care for the striped up paint. Looks like another original factory green car. I could be wrong. It's yellow now, with orange and red stripe. I really don't like the way it looks. But it looks better than a rattle can say that 22 days ago they have not updated the ad does say clean title so it's got a built 283 in it 350 turbo and dig that 1972 chevrolet ss 8999 colorado five weeks ago i actually had one of these when i was a younger man i had a super sport four speed 72 but i traded for a 67 camaro Listed five weeks ago, Denver, Colorado on this one. Clean title. 72, small block Chevy. Turbo 350 trans. Bucket seats, console. Clean body, car sitting in the garage 20 plus years. Best cash offers or best offers possible trade for 53 to 55 F100 or 62 to 67 Nova drag car. Dragster, Silverados. They're open to trades. Asking big money. $89.99. That car needs a lot of work still. 1971 Chevrolet Nova. Nine grand two weeks ago. Oregon. Clean title runs and drives smoothly. Nothing wrong with it. Clean car. Title on hand. This thing's absolutely beautiful. So I'd rather have this than the orange Ford or just because this is the older gen. Beautiful car. Especially if you're already drag racing a Nova or you already got a nice Nova. Nothing like adding a nice grocery getter to the to the fleet. Beautiful car, all the way down to the hubcaps. I dig it. It's nine grand. Nineteen seventy four Chevy Nova Hot Rod. Ty's got this posted. We're at our limit. Ten grand, sixteen days ago. I like the rallies on it. Seems it's seventy four. It's not hatchback. MSD in it. New dash pad. Ten grand. I don't. I don't see it. That's me. It's three fifty five in it. 30 over, 350. Been on here for 16 days, and he updated ad. Now he hasn't updated it. 16 days it's been on here. Facebook Marketplace, 1973 Chevrolet Nova Classic, 10 grand two weeks ago. This one's in Colorado. It's 
a hatchback. It's a 73 hatchback. Don't really care for those wheels, but it looks pretty solid around the edges. 10 grand. Hatchback's what you're looking for. Colorado area. Well, at least we found one. One more before the pick of the day. 1974 Chevrolet Nova, 10 grand, three weeks ago, Colorado. This car looks great. If you see an ad, it's 74, and it's got like a 68, 72 front clip on it with the big marker light bumpers. So it's the wrong front clip on it. They do fit. Car looks good other than that. Nice interior. Decent white paint that hides a lot. Beautiful set of rally wheels. Traction bars. 10 grand. I see it like maybe 7,500. Nice new tires. I do love the wheels. It's a cool car. All that said, it's always a cool search. Enjoyed restoring one of these for my dad years ago, and I got a couple pictures of that one on here after this one right here. Because this is going to be my pick of the day, y'all. Can't get there fast enough. 1972 Nova Facebook Marketplace, seven hours ago, Michigan. Load up the trailer and start heading that way. 72 Nova Roller Car, clean title. That's all you need to hear. Clean title, there's the rest of the description you want to read it out. 4200 bucks. That's my pick. If I was buying one, this is the one I'd go check out. It's in Michigan. Michigan got the pick of the day. And just like every time we do this Nova search, my true pick of the day is the one I did restore with my dad. So we paid 500 bucks for this car, and I enjoyed every minute of restoring it with my father. The videos on here of me restoring it. I got a video on here of me just recently swapping the brakes over to power brakes. My dad's getting up in the age, can't really deal with the manual steering and the manual brakes anymore. So we got power brakes in it. We're going to be putting power steering in it soon. So with all that said, I appreciate all the new subscribers. All the big thumbs up. Be good. Stay safe. We'll be back on here soon. Peace out.